Goss's bacterial wilt and blight has become a very important disease for corn growers in the United States. And so we want to make sure you know how to identify this disease. In particular, there are some key diagnostic features that can help you recognize it. In particular, this disease can cause symptoms both as a foliar blight on the leaves, and it can also be a systemic disease throughout the entire plant. On the leaves itself in the foliar blight phase, you may often see dark, what we would call freckles, dark green to black specks near the edges of lesions. And those lesions could be dark brown or gray in color, and they can develop and become very large. Well, the dark green or black freckles are a key diagnostic feature. And as the lesions grow larger and larger, you may also see the development of a glossy surface or sheen on top of that lesion. Those are the bacteria being deposited on the surface of that lesion. In addition, if the disease becomes systemic, you can also sometimes cut open some of those plants and see discoloration of the vascular bundles and the water conducting elements. And so you might notice orange to brown discoloration in those plants. Plants that are infected early may often die before they ever produce ears or tassels. Since this is caused by bacteria, it's very important for us to get this diagnosis correct because foliar fungicides are not going to provide adequate protection from this disease and it can look a lot like other common diseases like northern corn leaf blight and Stewart's wilt. Be sure to contact your local county extension office or submit samples to your university diagnostic laboratory for help.